Ladies and gentlemen, this is amazing. We are in a place now behind me. There are maybe 50 to 60,000 bags. And all these bags are full of beach trash. Yes, beach trash. Everything you see behind me, beach trash. Styrofoam, driftwood, styrofoam sand, pet bottles. Amazing. Literally, probably about 60 or 70,000 bags. And this is a recycling facility, so I'll give you a tour of what happens to all the stuff, and especially the styrofoam. Really special things happen to that. Uh, next thing, behind me there are some driftwood bags. You can see in these bags there's actually wood. Um, and why do you collect wood? So the intention is they're actually building a biomass facility, which means they're going to grind this stuff up and they can use it for energy. Behind me there are a few different machines. All these machines are basically used to grind driftwood. Um, so they're new machines and the cost is I think around $400,000 for all these machines. But uh, driftwood takes up a lot of space by carrying it. So what they do is they use mach these machines and they bring them to the beaches actually to grind the driftwood and they bag it up. And there's bags in the corner over there you can see. Um, there's also something interesting. There's a thousands of buoys on these beaches. What are they used for at this facility? So they collect them like these buoys here you can see, a small buoy. And they use these to make oil. So we'll talk about that next, as well as the styrofoam. Okay, prepare to have your mind blown. This is amazing. So there's a huge problem of beach trash, which we know here in Japan. Um, and I showed you the video of thousands of bags of waste. A lot of those bags contain buoys, um, like this one right here. So this is a beach buoy. Uh, and so what do they do with these? They actually make oil. How do they do that? The first process is behind me, they grind it up into very small pieces. Um, those small pieces are then traveling down the machine and they're burned. So when they're burned, two products, well three products come off. Moisture, because they're in water. The second is sand, and that's waste. And the third is actually the smoke, because it's burned, so you're burning styrofoam, the smoke. And then the smoke is condensed back into liquid, and the liquid makes oil, which I can show you right now. So this is an example of what's made from styrofoam, oil. And they make in one day about 70 liters of oil. 30 is used to power the burners of the machine, and the rest is used to heat local onsens or public baths. So they found a way to actually reuse the waste on the beach. Amazing stuff. Uh, go Japan.